Hey guys, it's Drac, and we just got this in, which is pretty sweet. It is the new Nerf Zombie Strike Fuse Fire, and I'm excited to make two segments. So this will be the first segment showing off uh, the blaster in the daytime, and I can kind of do my usual shots in my backyard. Uh, it comes with five discs, and it stores discs in the front, and it looks like it has a proton-style kind of loading and firing mechanism, but the big... I guess boon to this one is that it has the light up ability to flash and make the discs glow, which should actually be pretty sweet for humans versus zombies, especially if you like modded the blaster to make it more utilitarian for that archetype. But it has attack rail, it's got this really cool neon green kind of thing, and then this is a, a matte finish, which is just really sweet. The, uh, the overall design for this blaster is awesome, so I'm going to go ahead and carve it out of the package so that I can show it to you and do the daytime firing segment and then I'll of course load it up it's gonna take three AAA batteries I believe yeah three AAA batteries and after I that's so weird that this is holding that much but um I will make a segment showing you firing it at night and then we'll go even collect the uh the glow in the dark discs so that we can see how well they hold their glow and if it'll make it easier for like the moderators or you if your school runs that way to collect the um ammunition so it looks like you can store your discs in here they uh have pretty clearly marked slots and it's interesting that it only comes with five, but it has five loading slots. So you can, in theory, actually store six discs in your fuse fire because you can fit five here, but then obviously you can chamber one up here. All right, well, I am missing something. So we'll go to the back real quick. So it has disc storage. They want you to load it and then drop it, so I think that it fires in a very different way. It looks like you slide it into this slot here, and then it'll stick there, which is kind of wild. You pull it back, and I don't know if you guys can tell, but it drops in, and then you let it fly forward to chamber it, which is kind of cool. So now we're chambered and ready to fire. The interesting thing is it looks like I can store my next shot after chambering and it'll stick there without any misfires so in theory you could store seven discs at once this blaster is really cool i i really like that kind of design so we'll fire it about shoulder height and we're getting pretty average ranges i don't know what it's claiming but it looks like the discs are flying about 45 feet or so so it'll probably need a mod of some sort but now we can pull this back chamber and fire again which is pretty wild, and we can continue in that fashion. Now we can load the second one. So, I like this blaster. I think that it's got a really cool design. The handle is a little bit small, but the trigger pull is comfortable. You could two-hand it if you really wanted to. I'm going to go pick those up, and uh, we will make a nighttime segment after this. Hey guys, so this is part two of the zombie strike fuse fire thing, or review. So you can see down here that this panel lifts off and then three AAA batteries go in. You're going to need three AAA batteries and you're going to need a Phillips head screwdriver. Usually the LEDs on stuff are, are pretty gimmicky, but this, uh, the switch is down here, forward is on, back is off. This is cool on par with some of the custom LED work that I've done in the past. You can see down in here that we're charging up top where the disc stores inside here and the top just has a couple of leds that are really cool but like it's awesome it's got a very i want to say like covenant halo kind of feel to it and i just think it's really really cool so i'm gonna go ahead and chamber this one pull one out from here i wish there were leds here but you can't have everything and um that's weird did this one not chamber okay drop it load I must not have pulled it back all the way and get that one in there to charge. And so I'm going to go ahead and fire. As you can see, it's super duper dark out right now. 
and I hope that shows up on camera, but it is a uh, much easier to see the ammunition as it flies by night when it's being charged by these LEDs, and so I think that that's pretty sweet. Uh, quick, before they fade, I'm going to walk out here and see if I can find any as they're glowing. Now, it's worth mentioning that the video goggles make that pretty difficult, but you can actually see them. They're, they're kind of glowing here. And so, I think that that's really neat. They're lighting up and it should be really sweet for HVZ since most HVZ play happens at night but that is my review for the Nerf Zombie Strike Fuse Fire and it's super cold outside so I'm going to head back inside but as always thanks for watching guys